AP Biology. I'm so excited to work with you guys this year. Um, as Ms. Butler and I have kind of talked this summer, we're pretty excited and pretty sure we're going to be able to give you pretty close to the same experience that we've always given our AP Biology kids. Um, we both really love this class and really like the experiences that we're able to give to kids. So we're really hopeful um, that we're going to be able to do that with you guys still. So um, welcome to the first day of school. And um, what I wanted to do is just kind of give you a quick um, overview here of the classroom. Um, I know you guys have used this before as seniors, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick um, overview of what's going on here. So, um, you know the stream, it's basically just everything. The only way I would use that um, any differently would be maybe to send out just kind of a quick update or a notice um, that I know you would all get that way. Um, often I'll do it through a lot of times email too, but I know you get the emails here. So that's what the stream is. Um, for the classwork, so all that's in here right now are these resources. And um, these are things that you'll use all year. So the AP Biology landing page was in your email that I sent to you on um, Friday. So it was attached to that as a link and so I have it here too. Um, it's just basically a link, links to a lot of helpful things. So rather than me relinking them, but some of them are re-linked re here too. Um, the lab reference document, you guys will use that all year. Those are things, um, reminders that of how to do um, writing an explanation, how to do data analysis. We will use some of those um, this week even. We'll do it, we're gonna do a lab with M&Ms and chi-square analysis. So you'll use those um, reference documents that are in that folder um, to kind of help you with that. So um, it's just kind of gonna be a place for you to go to if you're not quite sure, like, all right, what, I don't remember exactly what all needs to be in an explanation. So you can go to the reference section and it's there. Um, how to directions will be a document that you can go to as we start to use some of these new digital tools and watch a video of um, one of us as biology teachers explaining it. So we're kind of dividing those up. So the videos won't all be from me. Um, when you go to the how to directions, there there will be a couple of different teachers that are giving those as we use them. And then Flipgrid is a link to the Flipgrid for our classroom. And what we're gonna do there is, um, I'll explain that assignment to you in class tomorrow. Uh, but you know, you can look at that, but that's the link directly to our Flipgrid class. So we'll use that through, for different assignments and things along the way too. In the how-to directions, there's some explanations about how to use Flipgrid. So if you wanted to play with that, you could. All right, um, a couple of other things. We, um, in the past, I know that you've seen, maybe heard um, if from other students that were in the class, and I know if you took AP Chem last year, you kept um, a Chlabin. In your freshman biology, you kept a Blabin. Um, this year, we're going to do everything remotely. We just don't want to um, be passing papers back and forth that have been in different homes. Um, and just, we want to try to keep as socially distanced as we can um, so that we can stay in school. Because um, I really do want to, I really would like to stay in school. I think it's going to be the best for all of us. So, with that being said, you will not need um, a lab notebook or anything like that um, that you're going to have to turn into me. We will do it digitally. Um, you can, we're going to do it all through Classroom, so all the assignments will be done that way. But I would suggest that you create um, an AP Biology Google folder to kind of organize yourself. So you may want to create like a AP Biology folder and then within there one for all of your labs. Colleges may ask for um, your lab, um, proof of the labs that you did to give you the lab credit. Because the exam score, some colleges won't give you the lab credit, they'll only give you the lecture credit. Um, but if you can show them all the labs that you did, we do so many that you should be able to get that lab credit. This year, obviously, we won't be doing all the skill stuff that we've done, sorry, um, in the past, but anyways, keep a lab folder would be my suggestion. Um, I would also suggest that you do get um, either a spiral notebook or a three ring binder um, that you can use to just write things down on as when we're in class face to face, um, when you're watching videos, all of those kinds of things like um, the real goal here good grief, is to teach you how to be a good student and to help you to get used to um, 
taking notes and listening and, and figuring out that college experience. So having paper handy is going to be helpful. Um, we also will use those like whiteboards. Um, I have big whiteboards in my classroom and we just we can't use those this year. So when you're face to face, you'll be able to write on it, show it to each other and do that. Even if we're zooming in, um, you can hold it up to the camera. That's often faster than trying to draw something digitally for that. So you should bring your paper to class um, and then you'll use it also on your remote days just as as notes. It's nothing that you'll turn in, but it'll be helpful to you to have that to write on. All right, so what are you gonna do today? This is your first remote day, and it's such a bummer for your first day of school, um, but this is the, it, you know, it's just the situation. So, um, there's not a lot that you need to do. You can, um, oh, you know what else I need to link on here, and I'll get this linked up here, is a link to your textbook. So we will have a digital reference to your textbook on here. Um, it's just a PDF that's been scanned in by somebody in another school a long time ago. Um, but I will put that up here so you have a digital access to your textbook. So you can start looking at that if you would like. Um, but other than that, what you um, can do is when you, in the email that I sent on Friday, there was a form for you to fill out and a form for your parents to fill out. So if you haven't done that yet, have your parents or guardians fill out theirs. You fill out yours um, so that you can get that done. And then the other thing um, to do, and you can get all this information. There is um, information here. I gotta update the agendas. That's on my list of things to do here tonight. But um, there's also the calendar that you can look at. And so you can see um, like which days are remote and which days are, um, and so you guys are the B group. Okay, so really the only thing that I have on here for you guys to do tomorrow, or um, today, on Monday is to look at completing these forms. Okay, so I think that's all that you need. Don't worry about the flip grid. We'll talk about that tomorrow. All right, and that's it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your first day of school and have fun.